So this question comes in from Michael Pythium. Hi, Michael, by the way. Thank you for your question. Definitely an awesome feat, but what drives you? Was it always a dream to be a filmmaker or was it something that fell into your lap one day? Yeah, I, I think it's somewhere in between those two things. Uh, I think I'm an, I'm an odd case <laughs> in the sense of like, I, I'd always grown up, like my, for instance, like, my, like when I was eight years old, my, my grandfather gave me a VHS camera. And so I had, the first movie I ever made was like, I, I made R2-D2 crawl across my, or roll across my kitchen table using a stop motion animation. That was the first movie I ever made when I was eight years old. And I, I pretty much always played with a camera growing up because I was pretty lonely and I didn't have a lot of friends. So I would stay at home on the weekends and I would make, uh, I would literally play, uh, I'd make little Star Wars films and I would play all the parts. I would, and, and I intuitively sort of understood of like, okay, well, I like, I would cut all the, everything in camera, because this was like before I had access to like Final Cut or anything like that. Um, so like, I would like actually film like me as like a Sith Lord going like, don't, uh, you know, where are the rebels? And then I'd stop and then turn it and then I'd take the mask off and then go over here and then be the, be the other side of the conversation, right? So that had always been in my life, but I never like wanted to be a filmmaker growing up. I just did it because that's how I entertained myself. And then, um, you know, I went, to, I went to college and in college I was, I was pretty hell bent on becoming an actor. That's really what I really wanted to do and a musician. I really wanted to do those two things. And so I ended up sort of uh, at some point realizing like maybe I can fuse those two things together and figure out a way to use all these different interests into one thing. Because the thing I love about filmmaking is like, it's like so many different disciplines all married into one thing. And so, uh, I wasn't ever really gonna pursue it really until I got into film school and I got into film school, like I was telling you earlier, like it, it kind of blindsided me. I didn't expect to get in, I didn't know, I didn't know anyone there. I didn't, you know, I, I like on, I feel like uh, on paper, there's no way I should have gotten into film school. There's just no way. And uh, so I sort of took that almost as like, you know, as this, weird, it's gonna sound weird, but almost like divine, you know, intervention of like, you need to do this. And it's something I've always uh, been fascinated by. And so I went to film school basically because like, my school wouldn't allow anyone to defer. Like it's like a once in a lifetime chance. It's like, you're either in or you're not in. Uh, Cause I was gonna see like, maybe I can defer a year or something like that. And that wasn't an option. And so I just jumped and, and did it and because uh, it sounded way better than working for a gas company. <laughs> so uh, I, I've done that and now I can't see my life without creating films. I, I can't see it. And so there was never really a moment where I was like, I want to be a filmmaker and this is what I'm going to do. It did kind of fall into my lap, but that's because I had all it had always sort of been in the background in the way. It, you know, and, and movies were always a way that my family uh, bonded together. Like we speak in movie quotes to each other, you know? That's, that's my family. My dad's a massive film buff. And so like, you know, Turner Classic Movies was always on when we were growing up. And I'd be like, Daddy, why are your movies in black and white and mine are in color? Like what's <laughs> going on? I don't understand, you know? And like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's sort of been a natural progression. There was never a, a moment where I was like, I am a filmmaker now. It's been a real slow burn for me to kind of get to this point. And, and now like uh, writing scripts and, and making films kind of feels like breathing to me. Not in the sense of it's easy, it feels just natural. It feels like, oh, this is a, a, a thing I have to do because it's in me now, if that makes sense. It does. I was just wondering, with this job that was at the gas company, was it already lined up? I mean, no. You, oh, okay. No, no, I just wasn't, wasn't sure. No, no. <laughs> it, it was basically me, uh, like, I would pass by, like, okay, I'm going to work there, and then we're going to, because this was when I was planning my wedding with my wife. I was like, okay, I'm going to work there, and then I'm going to have that house, and cool, we're going to settle down, we're going to have kids, and it's going to be awesome. And so that was my plan. Like, I was going to, I was, like, literally putting together 
a resume to submit to that gas company because like I'm gonna work there. And so that's yeah, that's basically how that, how that worked out. Did you want to do theater on on the side? You know, I I've always like I love performing. It's great, but I the actor's life to me is so brutal. And at that point in my life, I I didn't think I was strong enough to do that. Which is like to to pick up and move to uh, you know if you want to do theater, a lot of times you pick up and you move to New York, you know, and try to crash with your friends and try to make it. And at that point in my life, I just wasn't that bold to do that. Mm -hmm. And so for me, film school made sense because it's like, oh, well that's kind of like a safe place I can go. I can move to a new place and there's like structure and you know, I can learn about this thing because I I had always uh, fantasized about making a movie uh, and like what would that be like? What would that look like? And so getting to, because actually like uh, there was a point uh, right after I graduated from college where I told my mom, I was like, you know what, I, I kind of want to try to make a movie. And she was like, oh, what do you need for that? And, and I was like, well, I, I guess I need a camera. And she literally, and like this is a testament to how, how phenomenally blessed I am to have parents like this. My, my mom literally opened up her wallet and she handed me money and she was like, do you think that's enough? And I was like, I think so. And so I went and I Googled cameras and stuff like that. And I was like, I think I'm gonna buy that camera. And I never bought it. I never bought it because I realized I didn't know how. I didn't even know where to begin. And I didn't wanna take my parents' hard earned money and buy something and then never use it. I just didn't wanna do that. And so I ended up giving my, my mom her money back. So I just gave it back to her. I was like, thank you so much. Uh, cool, I don't think I'm gonna do that. And then later on I ended up applying to film school and when I got in then I was like, oh, that makes sense. Like now I can go and learn how to use a camera <laughs> and learn in my brain that's, that's what I was thinking of like, oh, I can go there, I can go to a safe structured environment, learn my discipline, learn my craft and then come out and do something that I've always wanted to do. That's just sort of always kind of been in the background if that makes sense. And so uh, the getting into film school, at least to me, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying everybody needs to go to film school. It's, it's definitely different for every single person. Like there's some, some people who don't need it. Uh, me in particular, I feel like I needed it um, because I did. I, I wasn't bold enough just to pack out, uh, pack up my car and move to LA and just start making films. You know, I, I, I'm just not that personality. Sure. So it worked out. I, it worked out great for me so far. So far. <laughs> yeah, everybody has a different comfort level, I guess. Yeah, for sure, okay. definitely. Yeah. And some people, they only feel alive when they're like risking everything. Yeah, and they yeah. And they're, in that place. Absolutely, and there's some people that are incredible at that. They're just amazing. Like, I, I have some friends that, that have done that, that just like literally dropped everything they were doing and they drove to LA with like 50 bucks in their pocket and they're like, I'm gonna make this work. And they have. Wow. I'm not that personality. I'm just like, nah, I need to know exactly how much it's gonna cost. I need to know, (laughs) you know, I need to know where I'm sleeping, you know. Sure. Uh, But, um, you know, I I feel like the, uh, that spirit though, uh, the the magic of movies and and what stories can do, um, I think that's in all of us. And, you know, we all take different different paths to get there, but uh, my path doesn't, isn't gonna look like everybody else's path, but so far, like, uh, you know, it's only really in hindsight that you can look back and see that, oh, that did connect to that, and that connected to this. But when you're going through it, sometimes it can feel like chaos, but just in my, in my 31 years of living, when I look back at my life, I realize like every single moment in my life where I thought like, oh, that was the end, that end was always a beginning. And this always connected to that in a way that I couldn't see at the time. And now I'm, I feel like I'm just now getting to the point where I can just sort of like live my life and be like, oh, this is happening now? Okay. And just sort of go with it. Because I I used to fight that all the time. I used to fight like, wait, but how does this fit into my dreams of working at a gas company? How does that fit into, you know? And at the time I would stress out about those things. But now like, I just try to, I don't want to get too new agey here, but you know, I try to just follow my, my bliss, you know, mm-hmm. of like, oh, this feels right. This feels right in my intuition. Uh, this is what I'm going to do now. 
And so far, it's been working out all right. Well, before I sound the gong, um, do, do, you, do you ever think about, hey, like, it's 11 o'clock here. If I was back home, it would be whatever, two, whatever. And I'd be looking out on a courtyard from my desk, you know, and I'd have structure and I'd have yeah. meetings and I'd have, yeah, and, I'd either be the boss or I'd have a boss to report to. Uh -huh. And that could have been my reality. Not that that's a bad reality for some people. Right, some right, people, right. They, that's great. Absolutely. But do you ever think about that? I do sometimes think about like, uh, and, and it terrifies me. And it terrifies me not not because like, uh, yeah, like those people are crazy. It's not like that. It's it's like, I, even though like, right now I feel like I'm I'm on my path, like with without a doubt I'm unquestionably on my path, and I think that that other path, at least for me, if I had done that other that other type of life. It would have been uh, basically. Um, it would have been in reaction to denying risk, denying taking a risk. Whenever I I have fleeting moments of thinking like what could have been, I know that that life, at least just for me, would have been uh, a byproduct of of minimizing risk in my life. You know. Because like there are some people that go do that, and that's what they're designed to do. That's what they're meant to do. Uh, for me, I'm I'm not designed that way. Um, I am designed to do this. And and the the great part though is like, uh, even though like you know a career in film is unbelievably unpredictable, and I'm just at the beginning of mine, so I'm I'm still like trying to figure it out. But you know, it's been great because like I've learned to create a lot of structure in my life that has allowed me to be creatively productive and and has allowed uh, more sanity into my life, you know? Um, and I, I think I've, I, I can definitely take, because I, I call my brother, in fact, my, my brother called me the, the other day and he works a nine to five job and he was like, man, it must be nice to be able to do whatever you want. And I was like, I know it probably seems that way but that's not the case. <laughs> it's a, there's a lot of uncertainty, you know, there's a lot of uh, lack of, lack of sometimes direction that you can feel, but I've, I've just like, I'm what, I'm four years out of school and I'm a, first off, I'm amazed I'm still out here. Like every single day I'm like, man, I'm still out here. That's amazing. That's incredible. And, and, and it's all been by some beautiful design that I, I can't determine while I'm, while, it's, while I'm going through it, you know. Every single thing has led, has perfectly led to the other thing, even in the times where it feels like I've gone through, or I've been going through the desert without any water, you know. And so it's been uh, a really awesome experience so far, and I can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs>